Um, this is a video showing LGA pin repair on the LGA 3647 board. Um, I'm just going to keep the highlights in the video so it won't be long, but this took me about an hour and a half to do. Uh, when I started, there was about 40 pins that are broken. Uh, the only I only started recording when I had already finished like 20, so the video only shows maybe like 20 pins. You can see this is the end product. Um, and before I go into showing the pins, I'm just going to show my setup and how I did it. This is a Super Micro X11 SPI dash TF board. There it is on the BIOS chip X11 SPI. Uh, it's got, I think these are dual 10 gig. It's a really, really, really nice board. LGA 3647 to 3647 pins. Uh, setup I'm using, I'm going to be using this microscope right here. It was $70, $75 on Amazon. It's just a USB microscope. It's actually pretty nice. Um, there's another one that's for $100 with a different base, but it's the same. It's the same microscope in the end. I'll, I'll put it in the description. So it's got like the base adjustment right here. So you can zoom that and down this just tightens the rotation uh this keeps the whole like stick in and then this is the focus on the top which it's a bit annoying to use the focus just because it's it's on here so whenever you touch it it's gonna somewhat freak out so you need to so there uh, and of course you'll be able to see what the pins look like it's really clear and then you can see all the ink on there and everything uh, it's also got this light on here. You can adjust it with this scroll wheel on the side. In fact, it can be all the way off. Um, and it comes with some different tips. So here's, here's the box that it came in. They shipped it in this box. In fact, the label's just on the back right there. Uh, it comes with a protection sleeve. This is just, I don't, I don't even know what these are. These are all for like, um, I guess more health purposes. Uh, the only one I use is this one because that's the cover. Uh, and this one. This this is a bit of a diffuser. It doesn't really diffuse that great though. <laughs> comes with a driver CD, though you don't even need, really need them. Uh, there's no drivers on it. You just plug it in. It works with the camera app. Um, and then I'm going to be using, for the pin repair, I'm using the iFixit toolkit. Uh, I'm using the smallest flathead. That small. Uh, and then I'm using this, whatever this bit is, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's a, oh, it's a SIM card. SIM card tool. And then I'm also using the angled tweezers. Uh, because these go to a much more fine point than the other ones. Uh, so now I'll cut to working the board.
think this is the last pin. Last pin, last pin. Fuck, he's running. Look at that fucker. That. <laughs> Shit. my contact though. Maybe it did? I don't know, I can't tell. It did something, maybe. Just gotta make sure that my fingers don't get in the socket, too. Oh, fuck. I know I'm blocking the camera, but... Whatever. Ah, Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that thing. That's fucking awesome. That looks perfect. be bent a bit to the left. Imagine it just breaks. Just kidding, I'm not gonna jinx that. Don't break, please. Uh, I don't even know which one it is anymore. Uh, it's a bit far, though. Oh, I'm pinching another one. Shit. Oh, I don't want to pinch. 
There's no one. Come on. <sighs> I can't tell if that's better or worse. <laughs> yeah, look at them. They reflect a little bit weird, but they should be fine, I think. It's definitely not ever going to be perfect. You can see there's a couple in there, but... That's just because the pins are moved forward, if that makes sense. So they're going to absorb a bit more light. Or I guess it's going to be a bit deeper of a cavity. The other side looks great, though. That side is almost perfect. I don't have a lot of confidence in this side. Um, I think it'll work, but we'll see. I just wanted to show real quickly that the pins that you see the bad reflections from are, are still gonna be fixed, but the reason that they show a different like reflection off of there, maybe you can see, here I'll turn this light off. So you can see those pins underneath there, how they give a different reflection. Maybe you can. There. Um, and right there on the side. Um, the reason that that is is because of the how the pin was fixed. Let's see right here. So the functionality will be fine um, because it's, I mean, it's aligned basically with these other ones around it. I might actually go back in and push that one back. But the real reason that it makes a different reflection is because it's, that pin is pushed forward. Now like these ones, you see how the end is near the edge, but this one's pushed forward. It's still going to make good contact, but the light just reflects off of it differently because of how that, that hole is uh, affecting the light. 